Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Toma and you are at Toma Shortcut Art. Well, this video is going to be very special because I'm going to paint my mother. It was her birthday and I thought why not to gift her something which is like way more personalized and handmade. And let me tell you, I never like ever gifted her anything which is handmade. And so I thought why not to give it a try. But I did one mistake. I did it with watercolors and I am a total mess at it. But still I thought I should share this painting with you because it's very special to me. And I don't know why I don't keep practicing watercolors because it's really a hard medium to work with. You need to be very skilled to be a pro in watercolors. And uh, like back in 2020, I used to practice watercolors a lot. And um, like I used to practice uh, painting animals, impressionistic animals, expressionistic animals. And I will link all those painting videos in the description box below. But for today, I will share the painting of my mother. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started with the painting. So I am working on A4 size paper. This is a 130 GSM. Generally, uh, watercolors should be practiced on papers with higher GSM. But uh, today I am just giving it a wild try. Uh, the colors I am using today are from Camlin. These are artist range and I would suggest that if you're working with any medium, be it oil painting or acrylic or the watercolors, you should always go for the artist range. These are like really pigmented colors and uh, it will give a great effect to your painting. Uh, so for the painting, uh, I am doing the background first. Here I have used cobalt blue and a little bit of orange wash in between and on the right hand side I have used chrome yellow and I have created a little bit of contrast in the background in this way your painting will not look uh, too much uh, monotonous or blunt then I will start with painting the face and uh, at the beginning you need to keep a spare brush just to make your surface wet and keep applying colors for the skin tone I have used burnt sienna mixed with scarlet red and a little bit of chrome yellow and uh, I will like let this layer dry before applying the darker tones and the way of proceeding like in watercolors is very very uh, different from that of oil and acrylics in oil or acrylics I just start with painting the darker areas first like the eyes or the lips or the nose but here the process is just reversed or I mean this works for me I uh, just paint the lighter tones first keeping few uh, negative spaces like the cheekbones or um, some light reflection on the forehead I have kept that part totally untouched and uh, you shouldn't use white because uh, that will not give a great effect you shouldn't use white but uh, sometimes uh, when you are not a pro in watercolors we tend to use white to lighten our colors but generally uh, you should keep a negative space uh, free from any colors and that will give a white tone in your painting then slowly slowly I will start adding up layers to the painting like uh, uh, the burnt sienna part and the brownish part the eyebrows and the eyelids and the pupils and while uh, painting with these darker areas and minute areas you should be always using a fine brush and be very careful with working with watercolors because um, watercolors tend to bl blend or bleed very often 
so you should like be very careful or if you are not very confident about it please give it some time let it dry and then apply the second layer on and one more thing in the beginning of the watercolor wherever there is a little bit of dark like the hair or the eyelids i have never used direct black onto it i am uh, using a uh, cobalt blue or prussian blue mixed with burnt sienna because in that way it will give a little bit of uh, different kind of color shade than black black is always kept for the uh, last stage of the painting where the most darker areas are marked with black but uh, if you are going to start the painting with black like uh, the working with the eyelids or the hair it generally uh if bleeding occurs in your painting then it will look very very dull uh, and you and watercolors cannot be like corrected or you cannot like uh, retouch watercolors once it's done it's done so you need to be very very careful while working with watercolors So guys that's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed that painting video. Please give a thumbs up if you guys liked it and if you have any queries regarding the painting or the media I have used you can ask in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel guys and click the bell icon for more painting video updates from my channel. I'm also on Instagram. You can follow me there as well at Stoma Shorkar Art. And you can also follow this new Instagram handle I have been using as Tim Timothy. Like I am posting here anything which is not related to art, like something related to my life, anything like traveling, vlogging, or like food vlogging, etc., etc., etc. Please give it a watch. I hope you will like it, and I will see you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Stay creative. Bye bye.